if your sense of life is a constant moving present that doesn't dip into a past history or a, a sense of future, um, you're probably not going to be terribly worried if the fish next door, if there were doors in the sea, if the fish next door is suffering and is being caught. Um, but it will have a different impact if you know that the person that you see suffering is, in fact, a person, and you worry about that person. So all th this possibility of consciousness, I think, was the great generator of our sense of human drama and of something that comes after, and it's very important, which is the sense that we can do something about it. Of course, we know that what distinguishes human beings is that we have cultures and civilizations that could not have happened, in my view, if we did not have autobiographical selves. <coughs> and what was so good about those cultures and civilizations is that they were the engine to start doing something about what was wrong and start doing something also about what was right so that we could maximize well-being. So the, the best of human states is a state in which we seek consistently well-being for ourselves and for others, and a state in which we want to reduce pain and suffering so that we can be better off. Okay? And that is something that could not have happened if we did not have this deep realization of the big pickle we're in. <coughs>